Hey there, welcome back to episode number seven in my Let's Play series. This is Bell Mathewin. In today's episode, I'm thinking that this ladder is old technology and we need to get ourselves up to date with it, with what we're doing. So what I'm thinking is, uh, where did I put it? Grab a little bit of ice, and we're going to want a drop shaft right here, and then we'll get rid of the ladder and make a bubble elevator going up there. Uh, let's see, we might need a sign or two on us. That should do it. And let's make some fence gates. For the, for the bottom, for the water. So Uh, that may not be enough. I think. Well, let's do a couple of more. Uh, maybe I should have made those prior to starting the, record, the recording. In fact, we're just going to make up a ton of them. Because extra ones will eventually be used. Uh, fence gates are very useful for any, any sort of water mechanics that you might be using. So, because we dug down straight right there... I can be pretty sure that there's no lava and that it's safe to just dig straight down here. And on my way down, I'm going to fill in these voids that we left for light. In fact, let's just put that right in the offhand. Yeah, there's a great new mechanic in the game. There's absolutely no reason for me to continue to do this slow ascent and descent on that ladder. There we go, and we're going to put a sign there. And a little bit of water, and that should stop our momentum when we when we drop down. And this is what I mean by the slow slow ascent. I mean uh in past updates, this was acceptable, but it doesn't have to be right now. And uh, that's quite a ways down, so... Let's just stand on top and dig down like this. Ow. Oh. You know? I might need to rethink that just a little bit. And put a water source at the top so I can get back up. Uh, let's see. Right there. Uh, 
Why did that not create water? That should have made water. Okay, ice. That does not make any sense. All right, we will go with the bucket. Now, if we can stand on the ladder, we will just float our way down. And we probably are wiping out all of the torches at the bottom of the shaft, but that's okay, those are easy to replace. Actually, the uh, ladder is holding back the water, so let's get our fence gates placed. Something like that. And you know what, we have a few extra. Let's go ahead and quickly swap out the block. And I put a chest down here a little bit earlier in preparation for this. So now all we do, all we have to do to make all of these into water blocks, water source blocks I should say, is right up with the kelp. Go back down to the bottom and break the bottom one. figure out the top part of this water elevator and maybe we'll even get rid of that yeah that's pretty easy to get out of there so now we should fall down here and took no damage good relight the area And the, the main part of our episode today is not going, that, that wasn't the whole thing. Well, we'll leave that there for a dump chest for now. Oh, hello there, sign. All right, off camera, I just kind of uh, followed along a wall in a diagonal with my pickaxe running and cleared out a path in the direction of our farms. And I was kind of curious where it would land. It didn't land too far away. I think we can do something with that. It, it seems to follow in the exact direction and angle of the uh, ravine shaft that's on the other side, so it just kind of fits naturally. And then over maybe 30 blocks, we're at the farm. I don't know if the diagonal is going to present a, any hardships when it comes to decorating that tunnel and putting in some sort of ice path but maybe if I do an ice path with uh, boats it won't matter
So this episode, I think our main focus is going to be making this farm a little bit prettier, which I started with the logs, and I'll, I'll mix those up a little bit later on. But also, I would love to get some sort of automatic item sorting system because manually running around this fence is it's just not working it's a little bit too much hassle and then having to throw away the items I don't want even more hassle so right now I disabled both spawners just kind of for ease of use because it's very difficult to place any kind of uh, hoppers and maybe even a hopper minecart in any of these spots when you got stuff constantly falling on your head. So I went ahead and lit those up. And I'm thinking, did I bring my glass over? No, I did not. So I'm thinking we're definitely going to get a little bit of glass around that water elevator that the skeletons go up just because I think it'd be cool to see them going up the elevator. I'm going to grab the stuff I forgot and I'll be right back. Alright, got the stuff we needed. Um, let's unload a little bit of it. And get some of that stone back. I'm thinking... We're not very resource rich right now. So I'm thinking possibly the walls are just going to be stone brick. Maybe mixed in, broken up, get some mossy stone, some cracked stone. Um, throw some andesite in there, some polished andesite. So that part will be fairly easy. We have the resources for that. The hard part is... I spent a little time earlier getting uh, a bunch of redstone components together. It took a little while, especially dispensers. There's still not very many easy ways to, to gather those. Uh, let's see, I needed one of those. Oh, I need some ice. And we're going to need more chests than that. So let's take care of that right now. Okay, so I'm thinking... I thought about doing a hopper minecart right there to collect. And right there. But uh, I don't think there's going to be that many items trying to make their way through here. So let's go ahead, grab the hoppers. There they are. And I think we're gonna do a water stream coming from right here, right underneath the, ske the skellies. did not want to do that. Well, I guess I, I have to for right now. And then we'll get rid of them. This one up here, and there, so let's just lead. Okay. 
cover that back up. And let's see. Yeah, it's kind of a hodgepodge of bricks right at this moment. Okay, yeah, I think that's what. I went into a, my, my creative uh, test world and kind of pulled something together a little bit earlier. And I'm trying to remember exactly how I had it so that it uh, funneled them both through the same dispenser. Now, if I remember correctly, I wanted to go straight through here. Until right about here. Yep, right there. Alright, so that can be cobblestone because nobody's ever going to see that again. I should probably pick that redstone up. Like I said before, we're not rich yet. Alright, so this spot right here is going to be where we stick a dispenser. And we're going to feed from both farms into this. It's going to spit into a water stream over into an elevator right here. Actually, let's go back one more. And we'll put a glass wall in front. Which I suppose means that while we're at it, we need to prettify it. Because there's no point in putting glass walls and seeing all this bird poop. Let's see, maybe that one, that one. The outer walls there we'll replace shortly on on our own. And these will also be visible. There, that should do it. And that one will be soul sand. So over here, let's see. Run a hopper into there. Hopper's coming straight down from the skeleton farm. I'm gonna have to put something around that, probably just some stairs. And to make this to make this thing work, we need to come back one block, take an observer, and place it so that the arrow on top of it is pointing into the dispenser. On this side, we want to uh, place a dispenser, or a, I'm sorry, an observer, so that the arrow is pointing away. And those two pointing into each other will continuously update each other. This one being updated updates that one. That one being updated updates that one. And it will just go on forever. Which will make that thing will make the dispenser spit out anything that's in its contents forever until it's empty. Now what we want to do is go over one block further. We want to pull a comparator signal out of the side of this dispenser to tell so that 
this comparator can tell whenever there's something in here and tell our redstone to Well, actually, let me let me throw that together first. So we'll throw a block right there for the comparator to put a pulse into. Redstone repeater and the one sticky piston right there. So now all we need to do is put any item in there. And something being in that inventory of the dispenser put sends a sends a signal through the comparator into this block, which powers up the redstone repeater, powering up the sticky piston, and pushing that observer in front of that and forming our clock. Now once this inventory is empty, no more signal, no more signal, and the observer gets pulled back now we can fill in all these blocks so basically anytime there's anything in here from above in their farms it's gonna immediately get spit right out that's exactly what we were looking for so now we're gonna have it spit now let's get an ice block out there we go. I don't know why the ice block wasn't breaking into water at the top of the stairs. That was that was very odd. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to drop this down one level to get the water to go all the way to where we need it to go. I did not, however, bring any signs with me, did I? Let's uh, clear out some of this inventory, it's a mess. Don't need that yet. Don't need all of the redstone. Uh, the glass can become later than that. All right, perfect. Oh, should probably grab our soul sand. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> if my head wasn't attached, I'd forget that too. We need some signs. All right, perfect. So we're gonna take a sign right there to stop the water flow. And uh, for YouTube compression purposes, let's get some light in here. Soul sand there. Uh, we'll need another sign there and there. And this, this becomes water. Perfect. Yeah, this is uh this is my first time trying to accomplish redstone and talk at the same time so uh, I'm sorry if I'm a little spacey here but uh, I'll get more used to it as time goes on so none of that should be needed any longer I don't know why I bothered to put planks underneath all this crap it was probably just in case I decided to change up any of these blocks and leave them glass it took a little extra time that probably didn't need to spend. 
Um, so now what I'm thinking is a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Grab, we'll say 16. So we need some white dye. <laughs> and my cat decided he wanted to be a parrot. He's now resting on my shoulder. Sorry, buddy, but you have to wait till I'm done. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have cats, but uh, they want what they want when they want it, and they don't care what you want. Probably not the last time I'll say it. Probably not the last time he'll do it. But you can't help but love him. Alright, let's make some glass panes. Ah, oh, yeah, you gotta dye him before you... Okay, so... Let's go ahead and make... Half of those black. Get our glass back. Uh, make some gray dye. We'll go for the other half there. And now, yeah, we'll do gray. <laughs> oh, my inventory is such a mess. Let's get rid of those, those, those. I don't know where you came from, diorite. And some of this dye can go away now, too. Alright, so I've got some light gray and some black and some gray. Now I'm thinking that'll be nice to be able to watch the items go up. And I was also thinking that over here, well, We'd like to see the skeletons moving. Uh, let's do some uh, preventative maintenance here. Because that water is going to funnel out of here, out of there as soon as I break those. That'll just make our life a little easier. Let's go with black panes. I'm thinking we're going to need a little bit more of those. Yeah, my mind's working a little bit slower today. I had to, uh, uh, we, we took the kids out for some uh, back to school clothes shopping and any of you that have kids out there knows that can be a little bit, that can be a little bit draining. There's a whole lot of Looking through racks and racks and racks of clothes. And then there's the uh, whole there's people there aspect. And uh, for introverts like me, that leads to being tired. But I wanted to get this done. 
because there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do and I don't want to do it all behind the scenes. I feel like uh, stuff like this I need to do kind of on camera because some people might not know how to do the uh, automatic sorter or how to set up a spawner farm yet. And uh, I like kind of sharing these ideas and helping people out. So uh, you may have to bear with my mind grinding a little bit slower than normal today. But uh, I'm hoping that I can make it worthwhile with the end result. So for these farms, we're not going to need a whole lot of storage. We're not, we're not looking for a whole massive wall of storage. In fact, we we'll probably won't even start the chest until, I will say here, give the items a little chance to flow before they have to hit the hoppers. So let's, so I'm going to go ahead and dig out, I believe we're going to need maybe six blocks back and five blocks up, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and dig that out and I'll be right back to place the chest and uh, show the shorting, show how to make the sorting system. And welcome back. I waited until the next day because my brain was just fried I was brain farting all over the place felt like I was grinding gears so I decided to uh, relax a little bit with the kids and the old lady and uh, come back at this the next day with a fresh head I did while I was drinking my coffee this morning play around with a little bit of a wall design I kinda dig it I'd like to get some uh, cracked stone bricks and maybe some mossy stone bricks mixed in there too. But uh, out of curiosity, I wanted to see how the skeleton spawner was working. So I kind of dug a hole back here. And I found a problem. They were getting their heads. They were coming up onto the fence post like they were supposed to. But they were only going maybe halfway into the water jet and coming up right there. When basically sitting there with their head hitting the ceiling. And that's no bueno. So I thought we would fix that real quick. That shouldn't take too much to fix. I think I'm going to just double the shaft keep with signs going all the way up. And maybe we'll uh, do something different here. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that and kill the water column. Let's see what the bedrock allows us to do. Because I think I'd like to block off that water so I can stop fighting that current. Um, That's a water source, isn't it? Of course it is. Where's my bucket? Huh. Well, we'll go with the uh, block placing method. Okay, so what I think I want to do is... All right, there's a little bit of ice. Got bedrock there, so that's not going to be ice. But let's replace those two with ice and see if maybe a little forward falling momentum gets them into the stream. Would probably be, oh, yeah, let's use a little bit of the blue ice. So now, I'm hoping that when I release this, we kind of fall onto that. And maybe we'll have enough forward momentum. So let's put our soul stand in right there.
and okay that's not a water block now it is so what I'm hoping is that I can do what the skeletons were doing and only be halfway up or half into the water elevator and just kind of clear out this column Well, maybe that's not going to work as great as I was hoping. But it is going to work. So, put a sign there. Oh, that's what I didn't want. So, we'll come down here and try it again. <laughs> uh, the, uh item elevator from over there that we set up apparently works very well I did not think about that glass though Well, we do have silk touch. So, unfortunately, we're going to kill that. Oh. <laughs> yep, this is going to be fun. All right, so how much further are we going to have to go? Now let's fill that in. And go ahead and stack up a little. There, that's a little bit easier. Um, I do have some smooth stone. We'll just go ahead and fill. <sighs> yeah, yeah, pro Minecrafter here. All right, we need that filled in. And we really don't need any part of this little ravine. All right, let's start placing some signs. Hopefully I have enough. Oh, it's getting a little dangerous there. How close are we? And is that the right side? I guess we'll find out. It is. Okay, that's good. I think we're going to definitely need more signs. Uh, sorry if this gets a little dark, but uh, it's 
It's kind of the nature of the beast when you're working in a tight little tunnel like this. Okay, so we will need a few more signs. I thought I had grabbed them all. Guess I did, it just wasn't enough. Um, let's go ahead and empty out a little bit. If that's not enough signs, then uh, I'm doing something wrong. Uh, don't need that fence post anymore. Let's eat before we inevitably fall down one side or the other. Like that. All right, so. When I get up here. I think we what we want no. Let's stick that there and now anything right here, even if it's all the way back, should go forward. Okay. I think that might fix the, the skelly farm. Now let me go down and close up the bottom. See if I can That's much, much further than I was expecting. Um, how is this going to work with our glass? And does our glass actually present a problem? It might. Yeah, it actually, it really might. Skellies may get caught right there. Or on the sides. So that might need to get changed. Yeah, we will just change the front and the sides. Yeah, and this is going to be a big mess. But we can replace torches. That's not super difficult. I think we'd, much, we'd uh, much rather be safe than sorry on that. So let's grab some of that, some of that. Do we have any more black? No, just the uh, panes. So we'll do two batches of that. Throw the uh, ink sack back over here. Anything else I can get rid of? I need to replace those. I got all the redstoney bits for the sorting area, which we'll be getting to real quick here. Oh, 
we are going to need at least one more batch. And we won't need any more of that. Alright, I'm hoping this is enough. Uh, let's get rid of that log right there. Perfect. Then the Yeah, I think that'll do it. Um, for continuity's sake, let's stick that up there as well. And light up the area. I like brand new. I don't love the signs back there, but I also don't love the mob farm not working right. So let's take a let's take a little voyage through it. So does it push me in? I know it pushes mobs better than it pushes players. And then, yeah, I think that'll do it. And of course, we've got our little ledge right here. I don't know if I can get back out. Yeah, let's dig that down one more. so that we can check on it later. It's always good to have some sort of access so that you can check and see if everything's going according to plan. Because otherwise you could end up with 10 or 15 skellies down there while you're standing up here wondering why nothing's coming back. Uh, let's put those back. So, I was editing this video, and I decided that uh, it was way too long. So I'm going to split this video I recorded up into two parts. The first part is what we just did. A um, little bit of a dig out on the uh, sorting system. A little bit of decoration in here, and uh, fixing the skeleton spawner, or skeleton mob farm. Uh, the next part is is almost completely just the uh, auto sorter and how to do it and where I learned it from and uh, how to get rid of the stuff we don't want. So we'll see you there.